tells us to keep pushing forth in the face of adversity. That voice that told Joan of Arc to hold steadfast in defense of the city of Paris. That voice that told Malala Yousafzai to keep going to school no matter what the Taliban said. That voice that told me even though I was the most underrepresented race in fashion and modeling, I could still be a uh, Indian, uh, Middle Eastern-ish, uh, I don't know what she is. <laughs> Somebody would want to put a dress on me and put me on their runway. E even, even that, to me, is, is incredible, being, being a Muslim, being a, a woman of Pakistani, Afghan, Persian descent. We, we don't become models. We, we do what we're told. <laughs> but <laughs> what's the fun in that? So today we stand together as a collective voice in the face of all those who refuse to recognize that we as women are part and parcel of what makes the world turn. We are an indelible mark, a force to be reckoned with, and we are second to none. Thank you all for joining us this evening to my lovely friends present today who have supported me in my causes, like Alexandra Papescu York, like Miss Gabriella, like the wonderful Liliana, who was the key makeup artist tonight, who's always supported me, and the women of the Women's Council, to the Honorable President, Madam President, the magnanimous Mary E. Singletary, and the Women's Council Youth Leader, Karen, for for seeing something special in me. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, to the gentlemen in the crowd, I really want to thank you all, particularly the great Isaiah Zinba Shabala. I'm so sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. <laughs> I have no right to pronounce anybody's name wrong, but <laughs> with my name, right? But Jacques Isaac, as a menswear designer, and all these male models who came out and stood up for women's issues, as anyone who's advocated women's issues can attest, getting men to stand up for women's issues is one of the most difficult things. So, so it takes a real man to stand up for a woman. So thank you all so much for, for coming out as well. And, <laughs> and lastly, thank you to my beautiful mom for teaching me how to be kind and open my heart to the troubles of others. Anytime I was unkind, it was my mom who would say, that's not nice, don't do that, and it stuck. <laughs> she has been with me through everything, and I learned the power, love, and support of a woman because of you, Mama. Thank you all for recognizing my efforts to support women all around the world and helping amplify my own voice towards the issues which affect women the most. So thank you, each and every one of you are part of this award. Thank you so much.